Raleigh scared? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we are going to show you our new farmhouse tour, uh, our undecorated, unfurnished farmhouse tour. So right now we are standing in the living room and this is where we're going to be living. A lot bigger than the one that we, a lot bigger than our old house. It's got these cute French doors. It's got this little shelf thing, which is perfect. Love it. I love I love old houses. I love Victorian houses. I love we've always lived in old houses. Almost always. But anyway, some of you guys remember. Anyway, this is it. The front door here. We've got this long hallway. <laughs> so this house is definitely old. It needs a lot of tea. it needs a lot of updating, but we like it. Um, so this is the kitchen. This is the eating area. I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna put stuff. It's got a wood stove in here, which we really like. So, um, and our one of the first houses that Sam, no, the second house Sam and I bought together, we had a big wood stove and we used it all the time. So we're happy to have that. So this is the the eating area. We're probably gonna put our table over there, and then it's got this little area here this is the kitchen super cute windows Sophie asked me the other day what are all these cupboards for because our house has so few cupboards and they forget when we had a lot of big cupboards so this is it <laughs> uh, over here there's a light missing up there so we'll get that on over here is the pantry and then the bathroom this is the main bathroom it's definitely outdated I like it better than I did when we first saw the house. It's actually like a nice, I don't know, it's green, but I like green. For now, for now it's fine. Lots of storage. All the kids are off exploring their own rooms. <laughs> We're going to put blinds in here. All right, so I hear somebody calling me. You could what? I could lose you. I know, I've lost everybody. I lost you and you were So there. this house is <laughs> definitely a lot bigger than, than, we used to have a big house. This one is bigger than the one we've been living in though. This is our first big farmhouse. Whoa, there's a step down there. So uh, this is gonna be, what do, you, what do you think this is gonna be? Dining room, you know what the living room? This is gonna be our office. No. Dining room slash office. I like it. Yeah, there's an extra room upstairs. I love these floors. I love wide plank floors. Anyway, lots of windows. All right. Sophie's already bringing stuff in. All right. Should we go upstairs? All right, let's go upstairs. This is our first time at figuring everything out in this house, like seeing where all the light switches are. It's going to take us a while. Always takes you a while to figure that out. So this is the... Primary bedroom, it's got two walk-in closets. I'm super excited about that one. This is mine, and I have all those shelves, and I have storage on the ground. And then Sam's is over there. So this is Sophie's bedroom. It has carpet, it has blue walls, but she's excited. This property has a lot of room for us to grow. And you guys saw that I feel like we've pretty much outgrown our old farm. So this is Sophie's room. There's another uh, This house has is three plus one bedrooms All right, show us. Where's your bed gonna go? I can't right there. So that's gonna be your bed where that rug is And then where's your TV gonna go? It's gonna go My bed's gonna go out the window. So like here Maybe can move over a little bit My car is gonna be beside my bed and my TV is gonna be at the end of my bed all right, well, we'll see how it goes. Well, we have to, once our furniture are, arrives, we'll be able to figure everything out. And your TV's gonna go at the end of your bed. She's not a feng shui kind of girl, I am. Yeah, it's hot, we're just getting everything hooked up now. So Sam's gonna build her a little um, makeup station over there with a mirror and a table. Not there. You don't want it there? You're gonna put it there? It's gonna go there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that will be good. Or if you go on that wall. No, I agree. Yeah. All right. Well, that's Sophie's right, room. There's another bedroom upstairs. I actually didn't realize the house was as big as it as, as it is. It seemed much smaller with other people's stuff in it. <laughs> 
So again, this is like the eating area and the kitchen area. Uh, technically, we could put the dog crates there if we needed to. So this hall is pretty big, nice windows. Over here, we have Gabby's bathroom. We showed you guys this in a previous video, but this is Gabby's bathroom. She's excited to make it her own, and it also doubles as the laundry room. Here in Gabby's room, um, we don't know where the lights are. I have okay. lamps that we can put in here. I gotta clean out the boxes. because She's got a little room over here, a little kitchen area. It's She's got lights here. We just don't know how to turn them on. We don't know where the light switch is. Yeah. It's way cooler in mm -hmm. this part of the house and she's got this really cute walk-in closet that she's already filling up. I said that she should use these little cubbies for her shoes. So then, she, like I said, she has a little kitchen over here. That's a freezer. They unplugged everything. <laughs> so, oh gosh. Molly's the only dog that we've brought here so far and she's so confused. But Gabby's room is big. Where are you gonna put your bed? Right here. Yeah, she wants to put it there. I'm gonna figure out where that light does up where that light turns on. She wants to put her bed here. Yeah, I think she should put her bed on that wall, have a TV across from it so it's not so far. This wall? I think you should put your bed over here on this wall, because it's a big wall, and then put your TV over there. No, I'll or put your put bed it. on that wall. I'll and then, probably put it there. Yeah, that's my second choice. Lots of plugs over there, so that will work. All right. Way more room in this house for a Christmas tree. What do you think, Sam? You look tiny in this house, it's so big. What is in this house? Yeah, we just came and everything's shut off. All right, so I am still filming on my phone. Okay. We brought the dogs. <laughs> We've been bringing a little bit of stuff over to this new house. Uh, and the dogs are all loving it. They just came right in. What was the first thing Daisy did when she came in? She ran around the woods. And then she, yeah, she did that. She went to the living room and she looked out the window to she see where she was. That's yeah. her favorite thing to do. They're like, oh no! <laughs> anyway, um, I'll show you guys, well, that green floor is kind of scary looking. But I'll show you guys what we've done so far. So this house doesn't have air conditioning yet. So Sam went out last week, got a bunch of air conditioners. So we got this one here. Poor Ellie, she's terrified. Put her down. She doesn't Daisy's the most she wants up again. So um, there's one in here and then there's one upstairs. So we're going to figure that all out. Uh, we're getting stuff ready. We just brought over a bunch of knickknacks. So this is the living room I showed you in the last video. Um, it's not finished, but this is kind of like my shrine to Stella. And we need a shrine for Finn. Sam's gonna bring over the camera. But anyway, we've been moving in. Is Gabby here? This is our dog's first experience here. They're all interested in what's happening out the window. Yeah, that's gonna be trouble. She's gonna stay in there all day and book out the window. They're all gonna stay over there all day. We should put a bench there so they can sit. So anyway, I think what we're going to do in the living room here is we're going to put our couch along here and then along here and then the TV here and then I think we're going to hang these things up in here. I don't know if the yellow with the yellow clashes. It looks cute to me though. So the sad thing is <laughs> that we can lock the dogs in the living room when we need to on times when like the doors are going to be open and we don't want them to run outside but living on a farm that's not such a big deal. But right now, just while we're settling in, or bringing stuff in the door, uh, we put them in here just to see how it will go. All right, so, wait, did they leave me here? I can't hear, so I can't, I don't know what's happening. So I'm in Gabby's room. We got the lights fixed, so there's a light over there, and she's got two pocket lights here. I washed the floor for her, and she's moving stuff in. Like I said, we're not moving completely today, but <laughs> the girls are excited to bring their stuff over. So they've got, Gabby's bringing her dresser over. Sam's gone to get new uh, light bulbs because we don't like these orange glow ones. We like the white ones. Uh, they're, Gabby's moving her dresser in. Gabby likes a dark room. That's why this room is perfect for her. And then you're gonna put your TV over here? You should put the- 
You should put your TV there and put that dresser over there. Anyways, um, they're gonna go to the store. They're gonna go shopping. We're gonna get more keys made so that we all have a key. And then we're going to, um, I'm gonna take the dogs out and I'm gonna do some work around the farm. I think because Gabby can put her bed here and she had, I think she should put like a couch or something or a chair or some kind of little, I mean, she does have a little chair. But I think she should like, if she's gonna put her TV along that wall, she should do something to make it like a little sitting area. Oh, these are, uh, these are my spooky stuff. Those are she her- just jumped over these, surprisingly. Those are her spooky stuff. So it's so hot today. We were invited to go on, like we were gonna go on a trail ride. It got canceled. It's just way too hot. We also got invited to a pool party because it's a long weekend, but we thought we were going on the trail ride. Wow, a hand. Gabby's got a, a dead body part in her drawer. <laughs> all right. What? Do those turn off when you turn Yeah. Them? Everything. All the lights I in this. This one went out once. Did it? Yeah. It made a sound that it went out. Oh. Then it made a sound and it turned back on. Oh. Yeah. That's suspicious. Anyway. I got my infinity gauntlet at home. Oh, she, you're going to bring it over? Yeah, she's got lots of stuff to decorate. To what are you gonna put on that bottom shelf over there? Oh, that's where my duster goes. Oh, her duster. If I get more books, I'm gonna move everything down the shelf. Oh, that's a good idea. I just don't want mice to get it. Yeah. Get books or anything. Got this too. Wow, good job. I was gonna bring that. In fact, I cleaned this all off. Sophie and I went to the house. We cleaned it. it we cleaned it all off. Well, I brought all the coats and stuff. You brought the, only the raincoats. There's only raincoats in my backpack and you. Yeah, only well anyway, backpack. that's cool. So that's gonna go there. I think that's gonna go there. It's so, cute there. It's cute there? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. So, <laughs> the dogs are still. You gotta show me how to do laundry. Though. Yeah, we gotta figure out how to do laundry. Um, so, we're gonna put this here. Hi. <laughs> so that when we come in, we can just throw our coats on here and put our shoes on here instead of having to like come over here where the closet is. He's like, I don't wanna move any more stuff, it's too hot out. I guess that's why we always move in the winter time. I'll well, baby gate to my room. Yeah, we, we put a baby gate so the dogs wouldn't go upstairs because we have carpet up there and they get dirty feet, especially being on a farm. This is the best spot because I'm right in front of the air conditioner. <laughs> yeah, but the air conditions and conditioners that you got are cooling this house down. This house is as cold as our house, our other house that has central air. It's nice, you did a good job. So the kids went with Sam to the store to get a bunch of stuff. This is like the only time I'll probably ever be here alone. I'm gonna work on this now. I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. There's more I wanna work on, but first I'm gonna show you our tack room. And uh, I don't know, I've showed you guys this house so many times now, but we want this to be the tack room. Oh, spooky. All right, so we want this to be the tack room, but obviously, it's actually not too bad in here, not too hot. Obviously, um, it's too huge. And it, Sam has, well, there's a door here. He could drive his, his lawnmower and his tractor in here and store them in here. And I want him to be able to do that. He said we could have this whole room for our tack room, but I don't think we need this much room. I have no idea how to make this into a tack room. I wanted to have all of our saddle pads and our couch and our saddle racks and all that stuff. And then over here, I have to clean this up still. Um, I think we're gonna, Sam's gonna hook up like lots of really good lights in here, but I think we're going to use this as our feed room because it's got water and it's got shelves. <laughs> I also wanna clean up all this stuff over here. Don't you, every time you go into like an old barn, there's always these old shelves just sitting here. There's always like a million shelves. Anyway, we want to do that and then we want this to be the area where the horses go. I'll show you our idea. So along this wall, we could definitely have like our brushes and our stuff, like our grooming stuff. I don't know, I don't know. Sam wants to fix these stalls and he wants to build more stalls so that our horses have stalls in here. And then he wants this area to be a run-in. So it will be like fenced off, kind of like our arena at our other house, 
but it will be a run-in. So they'll come in that door and it'll be completely fenced off with a gate or whatever and they'll have this space to come in because essentially we want our horses to be outside most of the time. We don't want them to be inside all the time. We never did get to see why there's this carpet on the floor. I think it's just dirt under there. So that's our plan. That's what we want. We like this barn better than the other barn. But Sophie might take her ponies down to the other barn. I don't know. There's this little door here that's got to run in. Because we're going to use this as our winter field. They used to have goats. We're going to use this as our winter field. So this is going to be our winter field. And we're probably going to put the water trough in here. Maybe even block off one of these doors by putting the water trough. But you guys know that when you have your water trough inside, it doesn't get all green from the algae. And I love that. Oh. Wow. So that's our plan for this to be the winter field and then for them to come in here, not this, not here, here. But look, there's a little bench in the field. I want to leave that. I'm going to. I want to leave it so that we can sit there and watch the horses. <laughs> but, um, so this door here is what goes into that area that we want to be the run in. But I don't know. We're still figuring things out, but I love your guys' feedback. You guys have given, like, lately, our community has been so positive and so, so amazing. But look, look at all that land, how far back it goes. Look at the view. It's like we're secluded in here. Isn't that amazing? And then there's like a whole other half of a farm over there. Oh, and it has a gate here too. So that they, like right here, so that they can't come into the barn here. But so essentially, like maybe we'll bring them in through this door and they'll come in and they'll go into their stalls. And then over there, there's a door where they'll come in like at night. This will be closed and they'll come in at night uh, when like for a run in and get out of the rain and stuff. I'm going to clean all this and I'm going to put mats down so that we have like an area to groom our horses. But the one thing I also wanted to show you, and this is weighing really heavy on my heart. Like this is oh, the saddest thing. It could actually be like a tiny stall or even like a tack up stall because it's got a gate over there, but I doubt it would be. But anyways, but you know how like horses come in out of the field and sometimes they have like a run-in into the barn i love that so we could fence this off and this could be a run-in for this field so this is what's weighing heavy on my heart chino so he can't have grass like at all he just can't have it i want him to be in the herd i want all my herd together i don't want different fields with different horses i want them all together i feel like that's when they're the happiest i feel like that's when he's the happiest and i don't like them in different areas where like they can't see each other so if the other horses are over on this side and then chino has this field because we could easily make this into a dirt paddock with a little shelter here so we could do that for him and we'd have to keep a friend with him and he does really good with willow so we would put willow with him but that just breaks my heart like it kills me i don't want them to feel separated i don't want them to be like missing i like to look out and see all the horses running together so this is where we're going to make the winter paddock and this gate will close and so the horses they could see the horses and they could like the horses could come up and spend time with them and stuff but uh i have two choices to make this the winter paddock and put or i could make this chino and willow's paddock get rid of all this grass and let them be out here and then they'd kind of be able to see the others and then he'd always be safe always or i could try him in the big field with all the other horses and put a grazing muzzle on him the problem is he can't have any grass so like the grass isn't super tall but it's not super super short that he could still get it easily so I don't know you guys, I need you to tell me, what should I do? What should we do? There's like only fields across from us too. Like there's no houses. There are houses, but there's none like anywhere on this property in the back is all private. So tell me, what should I do? He can't have any grass at all. I feel like one minute I'm like, oh, I'm going to put a muzzle on him. Let him be with his friends. He has to be with his friends. And then the next second, I'm like, he can't have any grass, not even like a little bit. So how can I, how can I do that? Like, 
help. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna clean this up, this fence line here, and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. Okay, I am pouring sweat. It's like an hour later, oh, I'm hot. I'm gonna show you what I did. Remember the picture before, the before picture? I'll show you the after. I need to get a weed whacker. I can't cut the grass on the ground because there's a bunch of rocks and stuff in there. I don't know why we don't have a weed whacker, Sam, if you're watching this. You gotta buy me a weed whacker. Well, let's go. I'm gonna show you guys. Right, so there we go. I cut a lot of the, I cut a bunch of grass along the tree line, but there's rocks in there, so I can't go any further. I got all those bushes, vines off the top of the fence line, so I can look out there, look out the window and see the horses. And I cut, I trimmed up that tree over there and I, I'll show you. So it might not look like it, but I cut all this. Oh, you can tell because I threw all the branches over there. I cut these branches down. They were hanging over the horse field door and I cut down all those too. But I can see now, like when I was out there, look, when I'm out here, they don't seem too low. I'll show you. Like you can't even see them on my head. But from over there where I was videoing, they still look long, but I want to leave branches for the horses so they have shade. Oh, scorching. So I want to show you one more thing. Okay, so this gate into the horse field goes into here. This is not the winter field. <laughs> so this is just like a, I don't know, sometime field or a goat field. Wink, wink. <laughs> or you guys know how people free range their chickens. I would never do it because it's too scary to me. Any chicken loss is too too many for me. Like my heart just can't handle it. So I could even free range the chickens and the duck in here and put like a, a pond and we can open that up and let them go underneath there for shade. So um, that right over there, that's the, the winter field. That's where they're gonna stay in the winter. So it's not likely I'm gonna look out my window and see the horses. But I wanted to have it all clean anyways in case I do have something out here I can see. I definitely am not gonna get goat. We're not getting goats anytime soon. <laughs> we already have a lot going on, but I'm gonna go in, get a drink and rest for a few minutes. Hopefully my family will be back. I can see what they bought. This is definitely the summer of change. All right, we are home, you guys, and my back is broken. All that cleaning up of the yard, the trees and the cutting and stuff, wow, it made me stiff. So we came home and put the horses in off the paddock, but you can't see Chino. <laughs> Just his ears because he's enjoying his fan. That's how hot it is today. I love that he loves his fan. I love that you love your fan. Storm has a fan too, but he prefers his food. They come in for a short time in the afternoon when it's super hot so that they can get out of the sun and they enjoy it. And they have more time to eat. Hi, honey. Hi, Penny. I keep telling her, Penny, we're moving. We're moving, Penny. Are you having some salt? We showed our dogs the new house. We didn't even show them the horse fields. I think they'll go crazy when they can just run and run and run. But I can't wait till we show the horses. So we have a little bit more work to do, some fixing up, some a lot of fixing up to do before we move the horses over. And we haven't even moved over. We're still sleeping here. We still live here. Uh, we're just in the process of getting that place up and rear up and ready to go. So I just want to end the vlog, but I wanted to tell you guys, wait, I wanted to show you, but I can't do it and show you. But our horses love these fly masks. Love them. She likes it better when I have two hands. Oh. But she literally walks up and puts her, her face in it. And I know that they, so in the past, honestly, I've never had a fly mask that's, that's worked for us. These ones work so good. Gracie has the googly eye one still. <laughs> oh, you followed me. Here. So that is it for today's video. Um, we're onwards to a new journey, you guys. A new journey of making a new farm our own. I'm going to end today's video here. I'm going to insert a little clip for you guys so that you can see so that you can see the visitor that we had last night. Never before we had a visitor like this on our farm. We came up from the other farm and this visitor was in our yard. It was really exciting for us so I'm going to leave you guys with that little clip and we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right so we have can a we deer. Eat it?
No, but look at it. It like thinks it's one of our horses. Oops. Hi, dear. It's just casually like chilling in our yard. Don't you know that you're beautiful?